Let's look at another use of timer interrupts, namely pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation allows you to turn on and off different devices for, with levels of gray from 0% to 100%. For example here, I have a fan being connected to the PIC through a transistor. At 1% modulation, the fan is being powered at 1% power, I have to turn it on. At 30%, it almost runs. 40% running at low speed, 60% faster, 99% power, full speed, and back to off. That's what pulse width modulation does for you. To generate a pulse width, we're going to have two interrupts being used. Timer 0 sets RC0 every millisecond. When our timer 0 is triggered, it sets up a timer 1 interrupt. Timer 1 then happens anywhere between 0 0.01 to 0.99 milliseconds later, adjusting the pulse width. When timer 1 kicks in, it clears. By changing the time that timer 1 kicks in, I can change the pulse width from 0.1% to 99% on. The output of the PIC processor then goes to a transistor. This transistor turns on and off a load, in this case a motor. When RC0 is 5 volts, it pushes 11 milliamps to the base. Beta is 100 in this case, allowing up to 1 amp to flow. When RC0 is 0 volts, it turns off the transistor and you have 0. By varying the pulse width, I go anywhere between 0 to 100% on. And again, what that looks like, it says increase the pulse width, the motor spins faster and faster. And this also works with other loads. Here I've replaced the load with an LED light. As we go from 1% on, the light is dimly on. 10% on, 20% on, 30, 40, 60, 99% on. The way that is done in software is as follows. Timer 0 is called every millisecond. The prescaler is set to 1. Timer 0 is called every 10,000 clocks or 1 millisecond. When timer 0 is called, it sets up timer 1 to happen anywhere between 0 and 10,000 clocks in the future, set by PWM, a global variable, and it sets RC0. Anywhere between 1 and 10,000 clocks later, timer 1 kicks in and clears RC0. The setup for the interrupts turns on both timer 0 and timer 1 with a prescaler of 1. The main routine then just checks the push buttons. Depending upon the push button, it tells the timer when to be called anywhere between 100 clocks in the future to 9900 clocks in the future, 0.1 to 9.9 .9 milliseconds later, resulting in light going from 1% on to 99% on. That's using pulse width modulation with timer interrupts.